I am winding it down. Your girl is on a shopping haul roll. This is part three of this massive collective Christmas decor haul. And I want you to think that I just went out and purchased all of these. And even if I did, my business, but I didn't. These are all items that have been collected over time. All of the items that I have shared with you from the previous, the two previous videos, aside from the gifted items, Everything else that I'm sharing has been collected over time, okay? And so, this portion is going to be dedicated to mainly my clients. I, I like to share with you guys when I put together looks for my clients because it gives you a different... Um, it gives you styling from a different viewpoint because you kind of know that I kind of have a set, I'm a, a creature of habit, so I have a set color theme or scheme that I kind of stick around or stick within because that's just what I like. But with clients, I'm able to share with you different looks, different things, um, give you the viewpoint from their perspective and I can share with you how I put together, although it's not my personal style, I put together looks to fit their style and their theme requests. With the exception of one bag, I'm looking here and this bag should have gone with the last haul, but however, it's gonna be included in here. It's my personal things, but I like to add my personal, do my personal things separate from my business, but anywho, we're gonna get into it, okay? We have things from Hobby Lobby, mainly Hobby Lobby and my local craft store. But I have found, a, um, some of you have asked about where to find some of the pieces that I do reads with. And I will link a couple of stores, like this local craft store, it does not have a website or anything, so there's a point in me. I, there's nothing to link. It's just one of my local craft stores that I purchased from. But there is a website that carries a lot of similar items and I will link that. I think it's called Trendy Tree. I may link that so you guys can purchase, you know, something similar. If you see something that you just absolutely love or you can look for something in your local area to do that with. So, without any further ado, let's get into it. All right, guys. Up first is going to be Hobby Lobby. And I just want to share with you, it's not, I mean, it's, I'm, I, I hate saying it's not the major, but it is something. I pick, these are my supplies. These are things that I use to style with. And I get, um, I normally get the large 500 count packs, but they were out of them, of the Chanel stems. And I use these for, honey, this is my blood of Jesus when, in the Christmas decor world for clustering ornaments to connecting floor picks to swag, to making wreaths, to just so many things is what I use it for. So I like to get them in the moss green because even though a tree may be frosted, this just kind of disappears into the tree. And of course, your traditional Christmas color of a tree is this, like it's the moss green. Now, if you have a white tree or a black tree or any like specific color tree, then I would definitely say get stems or something or even just a wire to tie in. But I just like the Chanel stems for my um, style and I picked, since they didn't have the 500 count, I think I got four packs of the 100 count. They're like $1.69, but that is the holy grail for my styling arsenal, or my tools, or shall I say. And so I picked this up because this is something that, you guys, is quintessential to the holiday season and that is red ribbon. I like to get um, this from Hobby Lobby because not many places gonna sell a 90 feet roll at this price point, $11.99, and I got it at 40% off. Again, everything now at um, Hobby Lobby is 50% off. So you can get this for about six bucks. But it's a beautiful, um, I don't want to take it apart. It's like a, what do you call it? Like a sheer with the metallic, as you can see, inlaid in there. But it, it makes beautiful bows. It's beautiful in wreaths. It's beautiful on the outdoor decor because that sparkle just glistens in the sun. So I like to get this every season. I actually bought four rolls of this because so many people stop, use red it's like my most requested color scheme for the season so i always stock up on the red okay and i talk to you guys all the time about these floral picks and so here again i have them i shared them with to you all in my personal decor in white but i have them in the silver i'll do one here you see how it comes flat you get you wake it up she's sleep when you get them wake her up 
and give us some life. Like you can just manipulate the branches and make it do whatever you want to do. You can curve it, just give it all kinds of personality. But I love these picks. They're $2.99 right now, 50% off. So that's like $1.50 a pick. And I picked up several in the silver. And I do not want to take all these out because you guys know the life of, of what it's like with glitter. So I got silver. Okay. So I'm gonna ugh, put them somewhere. And then I picked up these cute little floral picks in the cute green. Again, really pretty, multiple pieces to the pick. You can manipulate the, I love anything that is wired because it gives you total creative control. You see them just sticking out like this, which is cute. Or you can take your finger, wind it down and create like a little spring to it. Or you can do like a pencil and give it a more defined curl like that. Make them like little curly cues and stretch them out. Just adds a little bit of texture and dimension to just a plain pick. So I love doing that with these. And they come in a number of colors as well. You can curve them out. You can like just give it a nice little swirl like that. Like there's so many different things that you can do with this. So I got um, several of those as well for swags, okay? I got several of these. I'll just hold it back up. I got several of these cute little red and white because of course candy cane with a twist is one of the trending themes. And so candy cane is one of our most popular requests as well. So I'm gonna be doing even a candy cane theme for one of my trees that I'm donating this year. I don't know if this tree is gonna go to the, it's just still if it's gonna go to the NICU at the Children's Hospital, but I'm gonna be styling with the candy cane theme and tying in with that red and white. You guys, I picked up these beautiful um, poinsettias. I think they're so cute and whimsical with the faux fur trim or the snow trim on there. It is so pretty. It's a poinsettia and um, they were $3.99 at 40% off. These, these did not have a price, but I think she priced them at $2.99. Like the entire basket of these had no price tag. So I think she gave them to me at $2.99 a pack. And most of these, you guys, I purchased at least five or more of them. I picked up this beautiful, like a sky blue, but it, what I love about this pick is that it has a number of blue hues in there. So if I style it in a teal theme, it works. If I style it in a light blue theme, it works. If I style it with something Tiffany Company or whatever, it, it works with a lot of different blue hues because it has var a variation of the blue glitter on it. I don't know if the camera is picking it up. So it will work with a teal, cerulean, any other blue family is definitely would be pretty with that. So I got those, I got five of those, okay? And then the last thing I got for, well, it's not the last thing, but the last thing for clients, I was I was gonna get the gold, like the silver that I always get, but I saw this bush and it was $9.99, again, 40% off. But again, I was looking at the branches of it all and I hate to open this up, but you see that it is one bush, but look at how many different picks you get from this one bush. And they are full and long and I like that. So I can do a lot with this one pick, you guys. You see that? So like that one branch is giving me three different um, three different picks if I wanted to. So there's one of those, two, three, four, five, six. And so that's how I, how I like to fraction out the cost, especially when I'm doing wreaths and I wanna keep them at a certain price point. This is a feasible way to give the glam look, the um, luxe look without breaking the bank and going over your um, your inventory cost, your material cost for your, if you are a wreath maker. So this is a good way to stretch that dollar. So there's five different, five different branches here and each branch has three branches on there. So this one stem at $6 gave me five individual stems, right? So that's just what, like a dollar 25 each. And then you break that down to three more. So you're looking at less than 50 cents per pick in this. So I thought that was a really less than it, a great buy. So I now have gold glitter everywhere, but that's the life of the holiday season. I welcome the glitter, okay? <laughs> I'm happy to see it come and I'm happy to see it go. All right, so that is that. And one last thing from Hobby Lobby, this is personal, but I just wanna share it because I think you'll like it. I think you'll find it beneficial. Now you guys know I am going with the whole Emerald City. By now you know, if you've seen my last video and I hope you did, you know that I am going with the Emerald City theme in my home. I didn't tell you where I'm doing it at, but it's gonna be all kinds of fabulous. And so I picked up these picks. I thought they were really, really different in that you can fan them out and give it again, you wake it up. It's come sleep, you know, all bunched together, but just wake it up and look at how much volume that one pick gives you. So 
it was $4.99 at 40% off. Well, now they're 50% off. So I think I picked up about seven of those because I really, really liked them, okay? And this is one that I have been eyeing for quite some time. And this is one that I also um, pick up a couple of them every time I go in the store. And it's none other than these beautiful gold feather picks. I, I mean, it's a, a gold glitter feather picks is what they are. And I absolutely love these. And I have no intention of separating them. I am going to use them in the trees. So they were $5.99, you guys, which is a great price for a pick like this. And they were 40% off. They are now half off. So I plan on going to stock up on them tomorrow, actually, when I have a break. So <laughs> I'm going to go get more of those because I told you I wasn't buying a lot of ornaments because I don't need any ornaments. But I always like to add to my stem collection because you want to be able to do a variety of looks and styles and they are great fillers for your trees especially if you're not using like a deco mesh or you're not using a lot of ribbon that is a great way to add fillers in your trees so that is that from hobby lobby okay and so now i'm gonna go into the floral shop um and it's called um handbag decor and more something like that but it, again they don't have they don't have a website I don't even know. Well, I'll just leave what I can, link what I can about them. And if you can contact them, then see if they will shop for you. I don't know. But anywho, I like them, okay? I like them. I love them. I want some more Okay, my mom, my beautiful mom, even though I am in full holiday or Christmas swing, she don't care. My mom said she want her another father. I am her, mama, it's October. Like, you're about to be putting up Christmas. I want to buy a wreath, so what mama wants, mama gets. So, while picking up Christmas decor, I had to backtrack and go into fall mode and pick up these pieces for my mom. And I picked up this beauty. This is the anchor for the look. Super cute, super fun, and we're gonna make sure that she keeps this in the safe place for next fall. And it says, welcome fall, you guys, a beautiful orange, and you know that teal that I love so much, so I got that. And to my wonderful surprise, you guys, I found, well, I actually found this first and I was wondering if she would like it. And so it's one of those huge metal warehouse type of buildings. So your signal is horrible in there. So I couldn't call her or FaceTime her to let her see anything. So it was just kind of me thinking, what would she like? And so I got this super cute and you know, I'm, I'm, I'm over the truck, but I thought this truck was super cute. I was like, okay, I'll make an exception. Cause my daughter was with me and she was like, mama, get this. I said, I'm over this truck, but I gave in and I bought the truck because when I saw this, I was like, okay, y'all want me over, but how cute, you guys. How cute is that? So that is the anchor for her look. And so to tie in with that, we got this beautiful plaid. Okay, I just kinda wanna share with you how you just coordinate and put things together and make them look amazing, right? Okay, I got stuff everywhere, y'all, so. Forgive me for all of the rattling, but I'm figuring it'd be easy to take this bag up here and just go through it this way. Okay. And so tying in with this look. Now I have some solid oranges or, or something in my inventory that I'm just gonna add with, but you guys, I saw this and I was like, yes, ma'am. How cute is that? It is a 10 inch, um, like a tan or a burlap mesh with a leopard inlay in between. It's so cute, leopard stripes. And I thought that would just tie in beautifully with that, okay. And as if that was not cute enough, y'all, look what I found. Only for you, mama. Uh-oh. Only for you, mama. How cute. Little leopard swirly. So her little fall wreath is going to be so cute. So, okay. That's it. That's all on fall, right? So we're going to set that to the side. That's for mama. And I know she probably going to watch. That's for you, girl. That's for you. So now, moving into... The, um, or this one more part of the seasonal things. The, the holiday, the Christmas of it all, I got, I had a request for a black and, she said black and gold. And I asked her, could I be, you know, creative with it and not, you know, cause black, but and she wants this to be year round. She wanted it to be Christmassy, festive, but year round. So that was kind of a challenge to do this without adding any quote unquote Christmas decor. But this is what I came up with, you guys. I got, Set that down. I purchased the black and gold and then an ivory and gold because I think the ivory will break it up so that because black and gold can be a little hard, especially all year round. I think the white will soften it up and make it more acceptable season after season. So 
I got that, okay? And so to tie in with, I guess I was on the leopard kick for mama. I picked this up, but I think that ties in beautifully, okay? So to keep this grounded and anchored, I got another, uh, this is solid ivory, okay? And then to add to the black and gold of it all, I picked up a polka dot. You see how I'm playing with patterns and things here? I got a pinstripe, a polka dot, and an animal print, and it all works beautifully. And then the final piece for her look, you guys, I always like to do like a skinny ribbon. That's my little, the, the little decorative deal, and this is an ivory and gold. So that ties in her request perfectly. So it gives her all the feels and feels. Now this will have an initial on it, so that'll kind of make it be set for her season after season. It'll have their, her family initial on the wreath, but that is gonna be so sticky cute. Don't you agree? So that's it on that one, okay? So now let's put this stuff down without dropping it, okay? There. It's really no easy way to, I mean, I just, y'all just gonna hear some rattling because everything is in wrapping, okay? All right, so moving to the next theme. Again, quintessential holiday request, candy canes or red and white. And so I picked up these beautiful floral picks. I'm gonna check them out. If I, if I can, let me take it out. I really don't want to get this glitter all over, but y'all, let's, let's pull it down this way and I can pull it back up. Okay. So here again, it's giving me three stems and each stem has two or three of the little sprinklies on there. So super cute. Be fun in a tree, super fun on a swag or a garland or, you know, what have you. But I love these and they were $3.25 a pick and I think I got five of these. I'm not sure. Okay, now, when I say peppermint with a twist, there has to be a twist, right? So, although we're doing the red and white, you guys, I saw this and I was like, there's my twist. How cute is this red, white, and teal? If you guys remember, I did a, I think my thing was twisted peppermint, or I'm, it may have been peppermint with a twist, I don't know, but it was when I brought out Miss Fancy and it was a snowman, the top head or whatever. It was, it was a whole snowman, snow lady head, and it was so cute, and this was the color scheme, but this has become a highly requested color scheme for the season, so I got this, and keep it in with the look. Let me try this again, because I kind of want to share with you how I build on the look, so this was my foundation, right? I found this super cute ribbon to tie in how gorgeous is that, right? Since we have the snowman hat, how perfect are these? Got these from Walmart, 98 cents. You guys, look at that. Are you seeing how? And so this is how you pull a look together. You find your anchor pieces and you build on that. So I have that. I have the cute little red and white picks for that. Just so super cute. But we're not done, sis. We got more stuff in here, okay? So to tie into that look, I found these cute little red and white swirlies. It's so super cute together. And I'm gonna probably throw in a little bit of a white ribbon with that. But I thought I had another ribbon to tie in. I did, I know that I did, okay. So I have this one that says Merry Christmas and it's in the teal or the Tiffany red and white. So how adorable is this combination? If I can get it together for y'all, okay? The girl is struggling right now. Okay. Come on, sis. Get it together. Y'all, this is video number four for today. And I work, so pray for us, sister. Look at that. Look. Y'all, that's so, that's so cute. Yes, yeah, so that is going to be a super cute um, look. But that just shows you how you can, once you have your anchor, which was this, it kind of just takes a life of its own. And then when I saw this, I was like, oh, how perfect. And then when I saw these, I was like, oh, how perfect. Like, like that's just so cute. I could even bring in like a black and white polka dot with that again, bringing in different patterns and themes. It's so thick and cute, but I cannot wait to. I'm probably gonna do some of these as DIYs just for, for I don't know if I'm gonna do Vlogmas or not. That is a large undertaking. And I tried it last year and failed miserably. So I don't know. I don't know, we'll see. Pray about it, sis. I don't know. Now I have a request, you guys, for a um, what is it? Um, what do I have a request for? I have a request for a breast cancer awareness 
um, wreath. And I picked this up. And although, you know, October's almost over, this person is a survivor. So this is going to be momentous to them all year round. So I picked up this really pretty. I guess I was on the leopard kit. So I picked this up. And guys, this is like six bucks per roll. And I got, of course, the pink, black, and white to tie in with that. And I actually have, I think it may be still in the car. It's actually a... It's the symbol of the breast cancer awareness. The um, the reform is in is some shape like the breast cancer awareness symbol. So that is going to be so cute. And I may still share that. Like I said, October's almost over, but she still wants the wreath. And I'm going to happily oblige. Okay. And so now we're going to go to this one. Like, what's Christmas without silver and gold, right? So I have a request for. Some silver and gold, and I thought these were absolutely gorgeous. And you all, this particular floral shop carries one of my favorite designers for the holiday season. It's none other than David Christopher. You guys, if you don't know who David Christopher are, where you been if you like Christmas decor? Like he is the bomb when it comes to style and trees. I absolutely love to watch him and his wife. They're so cute. Um, but this is one of one of the picks from his collection, which I didn't know that until I got up to the counter. But I was like, oh, that's a plus. But it is like a beautiful silver leaf, you guys. Again, beautifully. I love the wire in it. You can manipulate the branches, make them do what you want them to do, say what you want them to say. Just so cute. Look at that. Look at how pretty that is. So, and these were only two twenty-five, so it's not expensive at all. And I got five of those. Also, keeping it with the silver of it all, I picked up these beautiful picks. Now, this is for a actual swag, um, a mailbox swag in silver and gold. And I thought this would be so pretty with the actual, um, Fraser fur, the fur, the, the tree fur in there. I think that was so, so cute. The glitter is falling everywhere, y'all. I'm trying, at this point, I may as well stop trying, right? And these were $5 a pick, but look at how full that is. Like opening it up, you just, again, give it a whole new life. But I love these. I love picks like this. And I can add some more um, of the greenery to it and just make it even fuller. Because it's going to like anchor over a over a mailbox. So I actually have two of them. And if you guys would like to see me do a mailbox swag, then drop a comment in the comment section and let me know. So go like that and it'll bend over. Of course, I'm going to zhuzh it up and give it that royal touch. But this will be the anchor. So I'm going to lay some garland. Um, underneath and then layer this on top and of course layer and layer and layer and just build a beautiful beautiful look for them for their mailbox so i think that's gonna be so stinking cute 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 like look at this okay i know i'm y'all ain't trying to hear all this i see all this look look at that even if you just just layer that on look at how pretty that would be pretty even if you created trees um tree swags like the stick in the tree as fillers like layer them all together and add an ornament on top glamorous so cute, so cute, okay? So of course, tying in with the silver, like what's silver without some decoration? And I saw this and I just had to, I couldn't resist y'all, but look at, look at this, how pretty is this ribbon? So tying in with the silver, I think in her home, we're gonna, we're gonna add this mint in the house and then just do the silver and white outside, but this is gonna be so pretty. And this was $9 a roll, this is a nice ribbon. And it is 10 yards. Yes, 10 yards, 4 by 10. So I love this, okay? And then I picked this up to tie in with, and this was another, this was from the same company, RG Ribbon. Really, really nice quality ribbon. I've used this um, brand before because I shop with them all the time. Um, and this is when I want to keep things cost effective to fit the budget of my clients, okay? So this was $6, 10 rolls, but how gorgeous is that? So I love that. Okay, are you seeing the vision, sis? Are you seeing the vision? Are you seeing it? Are you seeing it? So cute. So cool. And when I tell y'all, you know, you already know. I ain't got to tell you. Okay. And so now for the gold of it all. Got these cute picks here. You guys know why. I'll, I'll see the, the green. I think I shared the green. And so you want it to give that green that same look you just... You know, swirl your finger around it or straw or whatever and give this nice curly look. I like the length of these, so that's why I bought these. So pretty. And again, I can break this up, create more picks. I can use them in a centerpiece on a tree, tree top, or what have you. These were $2 each. I love these, and I got about 10 of these. Okay. I love these. 
and they look at how gorgeous these are and again these fan out they just give you all kinds of life there's three on there and look how you can manipulate the, the little curly cues you can bring them up just bring your pick to life like don't just stick it in your tree or on your um swags or what have you just just bring it to life open it up see look at that look at how gorgeous and it just makes them look so much more fuller so you get you get your money's worth. Because if you just stick them in there and just all dinky and they haven't been fluffed out, it's about equivalent to fluffing out your tr the branches on your tree. If you just try to style the tree and you have it fast, um, fluffed out the branches, it just takes away. It takes away from the beauty of it. But look at how pretty and full that is. Can you imagine that on a fireplace? It's, oh, that's so cute. So, so cute. And just, again, by manipulating those little curly cues, you can make them longer or shorter. So many possibilities for this. Now, this one was five dollars and i think worth every penny because you see the the girth of it all so so pretty and i got five of those because i will be styling this i'm going to be using these in, in several clients um projects but i just love the fullness it gives again if i want to i can take it apart and i have three picks in one so for five dollars divided by three you got yourself a good deal okay so i got five of those and then i just picked up more gold this is like gold on gold and then I picked up another ivory and gold for her look. Okay. And so the last and final look or looks, you guys, I love a whimsical theme for Christmas. Like what's Christmas without whimsy? Okay. It don't work. Okay. So this is what I am living for this season. I just love, love, love so many things about these looks. This is actually a look that I have been using in fact, the first thing I ever shared on YouTube was in this color scheme, and I still use it. I think with, with the exception of one year, I used something that with peacock or something outside, but I decided then that I was going to forever do this thing because it's so whimsical and so fun, and it just speaks of the holiday season. And I'm speaking of none other than the red, white, and apple green. How cute is this, you guys? I love this pick again. It is multiple layers, so you can fan it out. You can do all of the things. And this one was $6.50, but I think, again, worth every penny. I got five of these. Because this is a the this is the most popular thing that I get requested for. So I got five of these. And this is another one that looks very, very underwhelming in the package. But once you get it, wake her up and she comes to life. Okay? This Spread out everything, manipulate and maneuver everything in the way that it should be. Curve it if it needs to be curved, fluff it if it needs to be fluffed, and look at that. You got yourself a nice, cool little whimsical pick to put anywhere in a swag, on a mailbox swag, on a wreath, on a tree, you name it. Okay, these were $3 each, and I got five of those. These cute little, again, similar to that gold one I just shared with you guys, but how fun is this? So cute, and these were $3.50, and I got five of these, which I plan on going back to get more of the red, white, and green because again, that has become my number one request. So I have to just really keep, I have to keep a stock, a heavier stock on that more than anything. And then these another one that were so fun. Again, look at how <laughs> crumble up it looks, but watch this. Watch you bring, when you bring it to life. Watch, 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 watch. Simply by pulling out the little curly cues and giving them life. So fun, you guys. How cute is that? Fun is that for the holiday season. If you're doing um, elf theme, if you're doing the peppermint theme, if you're doing Candyland, what have you. If you're doing Grinch, this would be just perfect for that with any of those themes. So I, if you're doing a Nutcracker in that color scheme, because Nutcrackers come in so many different um, colors and themes, like the possibilities are endless for that. So that is gonna be super, super cute, okay? Now going into the ribbons of it all, I have a huge collection or amount of red, white, and green ribbon already in my inventory, so I didn't need to buy a lot, but I just added these cute little fun and whimsical ones to my collection. This was $3.25 for the skinny one. This one here was $3.25, and then this one was $6.75. But how cute is that in the peppermint theme? And these are both 10 yards, okay? So this is how you put together a look. You find, you either pick your color scheme or pick your theme, and you just go with that. Take inventory of what you already have first, see what you can use for this new look that you want to create, and then begin to build, okay? And so,
speaking of, oh, here's another cute little ribbon. I didn't see, well, this one is gonna tie in with what I'm about to share with you, so I guess I didn't need to share it by the way. So you guys, I told you this was one of the ones that made the trending, the top 10, and it's none other than the Grinch himself. I picked up this cute little Grinch, um, the legs, and you can put it like in a wreath, like have him coming, because these are bendable, the legs are bendable. And you can have him coming out of, like sticking out of the um, the wreath like so, like that. Or you can have him curved like that. Or you can have one leg going one way and one going the other way. So stinking cute, you guys. In the tree, in a wreath, just wherever you want to have him style. So I got that. And to tie along with the Grinch theme, I picked up this. How stinking cute is that, you guys? So fun and festive for the season. And it definitely will put smiles on the children and children at heart spaces. So that is just perfect. Look at that. So, and to tie in with any of those red, white, and green looks, how cute is that? Let me pull something. Look at that. So thin and cute. So, yeah. That is, that is it. Why do you have like some more mesh or whatever to share with you? It's got some red with the white stripe, of course, some green, and then some solid red. And I stay supplied on the red so there you have it you guys that is it that is all all of the beautiful things that i have to share with you guys hopefully you got some tips on how to build or start a theme or look for your holiday season if you're into the reef making holiday style i hope you got tips on how to style and prepare for a client's home with this video so with that being said i don't know what y'all gonna see next probably gonna go right into diy mode because i have a lot of pieces to create as well as um trees to style so without any further ado you guys i want you all to anywho can you tell i'm sleepy can you tell i'm tired your girl has she has put her work in today just know that she is earning every thumbs up that i hope you give me so <laughs> with that being said i want you all to stay safe do everything necessary to keep your family safe and sound wash your hands wear your mask all of the good things okay Stay royal because you are a part of our God's royal priesthood. And until the next holiday extravaganza, have yourself a blessed and most beautiful, beautiful day. Bye.